What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you enjoy your time while you're here. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video and leave me something nice in the comments. So today's video is a little bit different to what is normally on my channel but it's quite exciting, it's really fun, I can't wait to film it, I'm a bit nervous though. So as you can see by the title, today I'm going to be doing the, or we're going to be doing, the My Boyfriend Chooses My Makeup Challenge Tag video situation. So Ollie has very kindly chosen all of the makeup that I'm going to use in this video. I'll insert the clip here of him choosing it. So the rules that I gave him were fill this bag with makeup and fill this bag with tools and brushes. Specifically said tools, praying that he would put a beauty blender in there and I really hope he has, otherwise I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> so I don't really know whether to do it as I have to use everything in there or I'm definitely doing it where I can only use the products in there. I'm not really sure. But not all of them. Apparently not all of them. <laughs> um, but I'm going to a gig later that he's playing with his band, so this makeup has to look good for that, and if not, then it's his fault, so it's fine. <laughs> so I guess we just get started. I'm gonna look for a primer, see if there's one there. Oh, I've just seen this, very excited. <laughs> We've got sunscreen on the cloudiest day, <laughs> but thanks, <laughs> probably won't use that. Oh, we got primer, of course it's the one that he bought, but it's just going to be a bag of things that he's bought. So I'm just taking the Becca Backlight Priming Filter Primer, and I'm going to put this on the high points of my face and where I want to be glowy. Okay, now I would normally do eyebrows, so let's see. We got an eyebrow brush, which is promising. Hey, now I just have to hope this is the new one because my old one is still in my makeup drawer and it's completely dried out. Okay, okay, we're good. This is going well so far. So I'm just using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the shade Ebony to do my eyebrows. That's a good brow. I swear I could use up a whole memory card just doing my eyebrows. I don't know if this should go straight into eyes or do the base. Let's go into eyes because I know we've got good palettes. So the palettes I've been blessed with today are the Kylie Bybel BH Cosmetics palette and soft. Oh, there's a hair on it. And the soft glam palette. I'm probably going to use Soft Glam and then use this one for my highlight. Let's hope we have good brushes. Okay. Right. We've got an inner corner a highlight brush, which is very useful. We've got a tapered shading brush, which is stained with red eyeshadow. It's not dirty, it's stained. I've washed it. And we have an angled brush. So maybe he was going for a liner look, who knows? 
and this is what we have for the eyes <laughs> there's a palette brush this is so good there's a brush in the palette i can use that I, he definitely knew didn't he yeah <laughs> so we ha also have this brush by default because it's in the palette <laughs> so i'm going to start with this tapered blending brush and Hmm. What should I don't want to do anything crazy because it's just like a small gig on campus at uni. But let's just start with tempera. Tempera, whatever you like. I'm just gonna put this all over as a base. I'm not doing concealer because like I said I don't want this to be like crazy heavy. Then I'm going to take orange soda and put that through my crease and above. Next I'm going to take the brush from the palette and take the shade Rustic and keep this on the outer half of my crease. Now using the same brush I'm going to take the tiniest bit of cypress umber to deepen up the outer V. I'm going to go back to the first brush and the first shade orange soda and blend everything out. Because we were given an angled brush I'm going to use Noir shadow and do a really small line of eyeliner no wing just line now I'm going to take the brush from the palette again but the non fluffy side and I think I'm going to take the shade bronze and pack this on the middle of my eyelid and then take the shade glistening on the inner corner. Okay, I don't think that's too bad, but I definitely miss my Morphe blending brushes. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to go on to the base and I'm going to look for a foundation. So we actually have two options. We have the L'Oreal True Match in the shade 2N and the new Makeup Revolution Fast Base Foundation in the shade F5. Um, I'm kind of struggling because this might be too light for me but this might be too dark for me. I'm not sure. Let's try them. Mm, yeah, I think that's going to be too dark and probably like orangey. That looks better. We shall go with L'Oreal True Match. And I have good news, we have a beauty blender. Okay, so foundation's all done and we're gonna go on to concealer. We've been given the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC15 and the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C4. So I'm going to use the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I'm going to put it on with my fingers because we don't have a concealer brush and then blend it out with the Beauty Blender. Oh my gosh. Now I'm going to see if we have any powder. We got the good powder. We got the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, and I'm so happy. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use the flat side of my damp beauty blender to pack this under my eyes. Now what I'd usually do next is like a cream contour or bronzer, but unfortunately we don't have one today. I've also just seen we don't have a powder bronzer, so we're gonna stay very flat today. <laughs> And then we can move on to the lower lash line. So I'm going to go back to the soft glam palette 
and take that tapered blending brush and the shade Orange Soda and put this on my lower lash line all the way across. Next I'm going to take the brush from the palette again and the shade Rustic and put this on the outer half of my lower lash line. Then using that angled brush again and the shade Noir, I'm going to put a line of black under my lower lash line of as close to the lash line as I can. Next I'm going to take the Morphe G27 pencil brush and the shade... Actually I'm going to go to the Carly by Bell palette now. And I'm going to take this white highlight shade and put this on my inner corner. And the gold highlight on my brow bone. Now what I would normally do is spray my face with setting spray and then highlight while my face is a bit damp. We got setting spray. <laughs> and oh, we have a fan brush. So I'm going to do that using the gold highlight shade from the Kylie. Carly Bivel palette. I don't know why I find that so hard to say, it's not that weird of a name. Okay, so I've just looked and there's no eyebrow setting gel, but it is pomade so it should be fine. Um, I'm going to move on to eyelashes. We have an eyelash colour and the mascara that Ollie got me for Christmas. <laughs> which is the Lancome Hypnose Mascara. So I'm gonna curl my lashes and then put this on my top and bottom lashes. I'm so impressed that he remembered the eyelash curler. Okay, now lastly, I'm gonna move on to the lips. We've got quite a lot of options. <laughs> so we have two lip liners. We have the Kiko Milano Lip Liner in Oh, Smart Fusion Lip Pencil in the shade 531, which is like a dark brown. Then we have the MAC Oak Lip Pencil. For liquid lipsticks, we have Makeup Revolutions Noble, no, Noble, Noble Liquid Lipstick, and NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Rome. Then we have two MAC lipsticks. <laughs> we have Viva Gland 3 which is like a dark matte and then we have another very dark one this is the shade D for danger this was my bridesmaids lipstick from my sister's wedding <laughs> I think I'm just gonna do oak lip pencil now I am actually gonna take the Kiko Milano smart fusion lip pencil in the shade 5 three, one, and go around the edges, like the outer edges and in here a bit to create sort of an ombre. So I think that is it for the makeup. Uh, I want to say thank you to Ollie for picking the makeup out. Um, I first saw Tati Westbrook do this video. Um, I don't know if she was the one to create it, but my credit goes to her because she's the one that I saw, so I'll link her channel down below, but I'm sure you've all heard of her because she's amazing. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty impressed. I look very pale, but other than that, I'm, I'm pretty happy. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Like this video if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Follow my Instagram. <laughs> Follow my Instagram if you really want. <laughs> no, mine. Oh, follow Ollie's Instagram. <laughs> That'll be in the description. <laughs> oh no, has my hair been like this the whole time? What is going on? Alright. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Those birds.